Now, the part which is missing here is uh, PD-15. And uh, PD-15, what is the responsibility of PD-15 in this motherboard? That uh, this particular voltage is coming from the VIN, okay? And this is the Zener diode, five volt Zener diode is here. And uh, if the diode is on the parallel, particularly a Zener diode is in the parallel mode, then it will pass the, the voltage rest from the Zener value. So the Zener value is a five volt, the rest uh, voltage will be passed uh, through that uh, diode. So now if we think here is a 20 volt and five volt uh, is the Zener value and we will get 15 volt on this terminal, okay? Since uh, we don't have the Zener diode here, we cannot show you or we cannot calculate it here that what value we, we need to get. But this is the logic here that uh, this is missing and what is the role of this? I'm telling you that point. And now two uh, register is placed here with a voltage divider. As a voltage divider, it is placed and the voltage divider value is going to generate on LDO then only we will be able to achieve LDO voltage on the 3.3 and 5 volt buck regulator, okay? So now let me show you what we are getting on these terminals. Now, as I have injected, now let me switch to the camera, okay? Now, okay, I think uh, let me show you close because my camera is very bad, okay? So here is the IC, here is the IC and uh, if you move slightly up, which I was telling you the amber light and whatever the light was there. So you can see that this particular area is missing. It seems that it is removed in the courier or whether it is removed from the early at the time of opening the laptop. I don't know. I have received the motherboard, the naked motherboard only. Now, so this area, we have to check that uh, what we are getting on, on this particular point and what we have to make. I don't have that uh, particular diode. So how can we manage to pass the appropriate voltage as it is required? We will try to find out those things. So now, first of all, let me check that uh, this particular area must have uh, 20 volt as uh, it is written on the uh, diagram. Like here, this terminal from this terminal is directly connected with the, I think, uh, VIN area. So this is the VIN area. You copy it where it is coming from and uh, you will reach that target point. From there, you have to jumper it, a register or a diode, whatever you have. Because we don't have, as I told you, I will not use this diode here. So PD15, uh, pin number one. So let's come and find pin number one uh, on the board view. So this is the pin number one. Do we have any voltage on this point? Now let's come and check. So this particular area, we have 20 volt, all right. This is the pin number one and uh, let me check it. Here we have uh, 20 volt and uh, after reaching this terminal, after reaching this terminal, we will get 25, uh, 15 volt on this point. However, you have to be aware that this is also VIN area. This must be separate. This must be separate from the that component, whatever you will use. And uh, any relationship with this? No, this is ground. Okay, I think this is ground. So here is my VIN. And uh, I have to set a component here so that we will achieve here uh, 15 volt and Eventually, I don't care about the 15 volt. I only care that what target voltage I am required. So here is the calculation that, uh, so uh, eventually what I need to get here, that uh, 20 volt is here and uh, here I have got uh, 15 volt. If the Zener value I use, five volt Zener value, then 15 volt and now set the voltage divider. So 15 into 150, voltage divider calculation and uh, into one plus 150. Okay, this is what you have to get. Now, let me use the calculator. So sometime 
my calculation is very poor 15 into 150 okay is equal to divided by 151 is equal to so 14.90 volt I need to get on this particular point on this point unable so if I don't have this uh, Zener diode so I will use here one more register here okay so instead of diode if I don't have diode I will use uh, here actually this is uh, placed here just to uh, protect the reverse current to the win area so I don't care about that I only care to generate the voltage on this motherboard because uh, look first of all I will check the pin number 7 do I get 5 volt LDO voltage always 1 or always 2 whatever now let's come and check so do we have that voltage uh, sorry do we have that voltage pin number 7 now let's check the multimeter 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so we are getting 1.2 pin number 7 pin number 7 it is required to generate 5 volt and instead we are getting here 1.2 volt okay so let's see I'm checking pin number 7 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so just because we are not getting appropriate unable signal on the pin number 4 so now let's check pin number 4 1 2 3 4 so here we are not getting anything and uh, because uh, there is a no connectivity between this uh, terminal uh, pin number one terminal to the Zener diode pin terminal two and then this area is going to a register and then we are getting the divider voltage and uh, then it is going uh, from here to pin number four as you can see now uh, I will set a voltage divider like uh, I will set a register over here so that we will get around uh, 14 or 15 volt on this point so if I place here a 50 kilo ohm register okay 50 kilo ohm like here if I use here 50 kilo ohm then what will be the total number of uh, register and how we will calculate it now see so we will add this one total number of uh, from this point will be 51 kilo ohm okay 51 kilo ohm now let me calculate it so now let me calculate it once again 20 volt into 150 is equal to divided by 150 plus 151 uh, it is uh, 201 201 is equal to 14.9 volt the same voltage I will get here as it is saying you so I anyhow I have to find out a 50 kilo ohm register in the scrap motherboard so if I don't have then what could I do here if I set here because uh, 50 kilo ohm is a slightly difficult task to find out 100k very easily we can find if we set 100 kilo ohm then what will be the calculation here 20 volt into 150 okay is equal to divided by 100 1 plus 50 151 151 is equal to big too much I anyhow I have to find out I think that was wrong now once again 20 into 150 is equal to 3000 divided by 250 yes sorry 251 251 is equal to 11.95 so I I have easily available easily accessible 100 100 kilo ohm so I will try this one first where I will place it I'll show you so I have to place it 
on this point so i have to place it on this point this particular point i have to place from this terminal to this terminal okay from this terminal to this terminal i have to place a, a 100 kilo ohm resistor now So this is the VIN area, pin number one of the diode, and uh, this is the my register, target register. Make it confirm that how it is going. Now let's check. This is going directly to this one, and also on this point. So what is this this point? Also, I have to connect it this particular point maybe that it will be going somewhere else nowhere nowhere it is going so just forget it if you wish to connect it if i do not get any result then i will surely connect it with this one now take out a hundred kilo ohm register so now let me show you Yes. And now from this point, I will make a jumper wire. Now, a very thin jumper wire from the desolder wire. Okay. Now. Also, if you wish to connect it, now connect it here. But I don't think that anything is required here. Uh, the ultimately, the voltage need, needs to go to this particular point and uh, this point must be connected. Between the register, the both register uh, meet point must be connected with the four number pin. This is what you have to only check. Now let me cut it. So around 11 volt we will get on this particular point. I think that must be capable to turn on the LDO as I think. So now let's power up and check the voltage. Now the situation is very same here 0 0.052 but uh, the thing is that you have to check the voltage so now you have 11.95 as you have calculated here you have calculated here 11.95 the same voltage you are getting on this point okay 11.95 and uh, do we get the seven number pin LDO voltage not it is around half earlier we were getting one point something volt and now two point uh, and there is a two possibility here one the ldo threshold uh, value is not okay like ldo needs more than 14 volt or maybe 3.3 and 5 volt ldo section is bad so i will not jump into the conclusion right now first of all i will try to reach it to the threshold value more than 14 volt so i will anyhow find out uh, 50 kilo ohm register and then i will show you to change it okay 10 kilo i have got a 43 kilo ohm register and uh, not more to this now let me calculate it 20 into 150 divided by 195 yes so I am not getting appropriate 50 kilo ohm so instead of that 
I am using 43 kilo ohm. Okay. Now let me switch. Uh, now I am sure that whatever the LDO will be generated now, uh, the unable voltage would be quite efficient to generate the LDO. If we do not get the LDO output, then I will surely change the 3.3 and 5 volt regulator.